what's up guys and it's 29 josh here and in today's video we will be talking about my pokemon fire red team that i used to complete the games with my first time doing it now after i had pokemon diamond i did look for pokemon fire red the first generation of pokemon games that did look better than red and um so i started to do that so this is my team that i used to beat pokemon fire red let's go <laughs> So guys, the first Pokemon that I did add in my team was very hard to choose because, as you know, the three star Pokemon from Gen 1 are very debatable on who is the best one to go throughout the game. Charizard is bad at the start of the game, but very good at the end game. Blastoise is a tank throughout the game. Venusaur is beautiful at the start, but bad at the end. So I did choose Blastoise because it is very strong and it's can learn dig. And it sweeps Brock as the first gym leader and Blaine as the fire type gym leader. So we're going to put Blastoise over there. The next Pokemon was Fero. I realized that I was overusing Pidgeot a lot in the Gen 1 games. So I decided to give Fero a shot and it turned out to be even stronger than Pidgeot. Who knew? The next team member was Persian. I did find a Meowth and I realized it would be cool to have a cat in my team. So I just added Persian there and its slash was extremely strong. After Persian, I decided that I needed some like a, a static Pokemon that can help me with rough Pokemon and flying types and water types. And I decided to Eevee from Cerulean Celadon C, sorry, and evolve it into a Jolteon with my Thunderstone. The next Pokemon was a hassle okay i'm telling you this right now dratini to get dratini and evolve it into a dragonite what i needed to do was go to the game corner and do slots to try and earn enough money to go buy it in the game corner because i couldn't be asked to do that i ended up going to safari zone and using my su su super rod, i think that's what it's called super rod or the the great rod or something like that ultra rod or something like that to fish for so long to finally encounter Dratini, then it fled. As you can imagine, that is extremely annoying, but I did end up catching one and evolving it into Dragonite, and trust me, it was worth it. The final Pokemon that I did add to my team was Arcanine, but I did not catch the Growlithe at the route where you have a bunch of trainers but going into Celadon City from Lavender Town. I did catch it at the Celadon Mansion where its level cap is way higher at reaching level 32 and level 30. So I did that before I went to be playing the gym leader and I added it to my team. So guys, that was my Fire Red team that I did use to beat the gym challenge in the Kanto region. I am still playing this game today, trying to catch the three legendary birds that I did not finish when I first got the game. But trust me, it took me three hours to catch Zapdos and I feel like I'm close to catching the other two. See you soon. 